looking at a map showing the latest total of coronavirus cases in our area with the death just confirmed in Clay County earlier today. A man in his 70s lost his life. It comes as President Trump announced today that he is invoking the Defense Protection Act as part of the administration's efforts to tackle the pandemic. The act ensures the private sector can ramp up manufacturing and distribution of emergency medical supplies and equipment. He also announced evictions and foreclosures are to be suspended through April. We must sacrifice together because we are all in this together and we'll come through together. All right, a look at the latest coronavirus numbers worldwide from the map created by Johns Hopkins University. The U.S. is now up to more than 7,600 cases with nearly 215,000 cases across the globe. And we have all of our crews focused on the outbreak, beginning with reporter Vic Michalucci in Nassau County, which has now declared a local emergency. Vic, there's also some concern about the adult gaming rooms there. Yeah, Tark, adult arcades like the beach house behind me in Yuli are open and business as usual for them. They are legally allowed to be open, but some people say it's just not right. If you look right now, about 5.30 in the afternoon, there are 12 vehicles on the outside in the parking lot, and this is a very small center. Some people say people are just too close together. They're touching these consoles and potentially spreading germs. One by one and two by two, we saw people going into Nassau County's adult arcades throughout the day. I guess people have to have a place to go. <laughs> Despite widespread concerns about the coronavirus outbreak, which has the governor limiting restaurants to 50% capacity and closing bars and nightclubs, these businesses have a loophole and customers keep coming. Many are elderly, the most at-risk population. I think it's a shame, you know? They can be spreading the viruses from arcade to arcade. We noticed some of the same people going from arcade to arcade, which, for the record, only had a handful of customers in each. In Yulee, there are 13 adult arcades. 12 are in Callahan, 3 in Fernandina Beach, and 2 in Hilliard. It's a hotbed because Duval County recently banned them. Here in Nassau County, the commission voted them out as of the end of the month, but some think they should be closed right now. I don't like them, Just the crowds that they draw. And some people are nice and mostly they're not. We visited four today. Spinner's manager told us they comply with the law. They're spacing people out and they have sanitizing wipes. Beach House Arcade locked the door on us. RW Cyber Cafe said they weren't worried because there's only one case in Nassau, but they had no other comment. And Pot of Gold's owner told me this. When somebody closed, we're going to close like everybody. Across the county, the Emergency Operations Center has been activated and monitoring the outbreak closely. And as far as these internet gaming cafes, many of them are open 24-7. They do not have any restrictions on their hours as the laws and rules stand right now. But again, all of that is being debated as the county commission has voted to shut them down at the end of the month. The attorneys representing some of these gaming centers have filed a lawsuit in federal court asking for an emergency injunction, allowing them to be open as they battle the case because they legally believe that they are allowed to operate here in Nassau County. We'll keep you posted on that as well. We're live in Yulee. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, were you able to see if they were you know, practicing the, the new social distancing techniques inside those facilities? Yeah, Tarek, some were, some weren't. So I got in through the doors of a couple of these facilities, and I did see, for the most part, people were spread out. So they had a couple gaming machines between them, so maybe six to ten feet uh, between the people in there. But then there were others where there were groups sitting together. And in some of these places, I saw hand sanitizer as well as Clorox wipes, others, I didn't see it. Doesn't mean that they're not cleaning in between customers. We just didn't see that out in the open when we walked into their facilities. All right, Vic, thanks for that report from Yuli.